Hey, Radiant Souls, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. I am an intuitive counselor, author, artist, animal communicator, energy healer, and say it with me, I'm on a mission to empower and embolden others to connect with their divine radiant light and honor the sacred connection with all life. In our May 2023, that's right, right? Forecast, energy forecast, we talked about congruent and the energy of being congruent. I wanted to add a little bit to that today because I was getting another little nudge from my guides to talk about the fact that congruence leads to stability. So if you remember, and if you didn't watch the, the forecast, I'll put a link in the box below. But why didn't you watch it also? Just kidding. Um, but we were talking about congruence congruence leading to a confluence. When you think of like two rivers coming together and all of the power and the movement that goes with that. If you are not congruent, you're not gonna have stability to stand in that confluence or to navigate that. So specifically thinking about four aspects of congruence in your life. It's coming, I'm getting, uh, like the messages are coming through as I'm talking. So ignore the girl who can't talk to the camera right now. Four aspects of congruence, and that is your emotions on a daily basis, your actions on a daily basis, your level of rest on a daily basis, and your level of inspiration. I got to write those down because I'm not going to remember that. You guys remind me, hang on, I'm making a note. Emotions, oh my gosh, I already forgot. Something, isn't this fun? Isn't it fun when we do it together? You guys, usually I iron all this out ahead of time. Um, inspir Im oh my God, inspiration? What else, you guys? Actions, rest, thank you. Actions rest. Okay. It's eerie. E-A-R-I. E so emotions, they're saying often we are kind of wading through and picking up other people's emotions. If you think of going out, you know, maybe uh, walking around a, a public place and someone maybe wore a little too much perfume and you walk through that and you're like, whoa, Wow, okay, enough with the Axe body spray or whatever it is. We do that with emotions too, but we don't have that level of awareness with it. You can walk through a group of people and if you aren't um, aware of your own energy body, uh, you can kind of pick up their emotional cooties, if you will, and then you get home and you're like, I was in a great mood an hour ago. I don't know what happened now. I feel really crappy and cranky. You may have picked up somebody else's emotions. So the team is saying to look at your emotions on a daily basis or as they come up throughout the day, not even daily, and first say, is this mine? And the answer might be no. And then you can say, oh, well, then I don't need it. <laughs> Go away. If it is yours, ask yourself, where did it come from? Because also sometimes the emotions that we feel coming over us, they're kind of like like weather patterns, right? The, you see the clouds out in the distance and then all of a sudden it's raining over you, but it's gonna pass. So asking yourself, where did it come from? Sometimes it's rooted in um, a belief or a perception and our mind kicked off the emotion. It's not even something that we're really truly feeling or experiencing, I should say, we're feeling it, but we may not even be experiencing a situation that coincides with that emotion. So asking yourself, where did it come from? Um, oh, well, it came because I couldn't pay the certain bill last month and I saw, um, something about that again this month and now I'm worried. Okay, but you have the money this month, Ooh, yeah. Okay, so then you don't need to be afraid. You can kind of um, like sketch over them. Oh, you know what image I'm seeing? What is that, the Etch-a-Sketch? Where you would write something and then, you know, flip the little uh, plastic sheet up and it's all gone. You can do that with your emotions. So they're saying that was um, 
the first thing to look at. The second was your actions, I think, if I remembered it right. That's what they're saying now anyway. Your actions on a daily basis. Where are you maybe letting yourself down is what they're saying. Not necessarily I need to be this, that, and the other for someone else. Because I think we, we contort ourselves a lot in that way. But where are you letting yourself down? And maybe you're not. And maybe you get through the day and you're like, yes, I was so authentically me today. It was great. Perfect. We don't always have those days. So when you don't have that kind of day, review your day and go back and say, where should I have zigged instead of zagged? Or, you know, where did my actions not really match who I am? And just kind of do that review for yourself. And it's okay. Forgive yourself. Don't beat yourself up over it because I bet you that's not authentic either. But if we don't see it, we can't change it. So analyzing or reviewing at the end of the day, where did my actions not match who I want to be? Rest. Mm. Mm. Such a good one. We cannot be present and available for ourselves or others if we are not rested. And this is one that we truly kind of cheat ourselves out of quite frequently. Oh, it's fine. I'll watch. I'll go to the next episode of the show I'm binging or I'll check my emails one more time. But then you're dialed back into that world of email and social media and whatever, allowing yourself to rest. And it may not just be sleep. It may be throughout your day. (sighs) Do you just get up and breathe? Do you just get up and look at something um, other than your device, your screen, um, what's right in front of you, situationally or actually physically right in front of you, putting your gaze out a little further and just being in the moment for a minute and resetting and recalibrating. That's a form of rest as well. If you learn how to navigate that energy for yourself and just know that, oh, on this at this time, I'm going to feel really energetic, but right now my body's telling me I need to rest. That's okay. Um, and the last one was inspiration. What are you doing to inspire yourself or to find inspiration for yourself every day? Because if you don't find something that kind of brings you into a joyful state or a state of gratitude, that's like the cherry on top of your day. And if we're looking at all of these emotions, actions, rest, and inspiration, I almost forgot again, um, that's the core that's building your stability within your coherence. So making sure that those are all coherent on any given day can make you feel more secure, more stable, and just feel better with yourself. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I kind of shortchanged the inspiration one, but I feel like we know what that is, right? Something that, as they would say, trips your trigger or just gets you excited about life, um, makes you laugh. Come Coming out of yourself is what the team is saying, where you're not so focused just on like the four walls of your own mind, but you come outside of something or allow something outside of you to come in that maybe you wouldn't before. So an inspiring idea, um, something creative that you're like, oh, that's really cool. I didn't think to look at the world in that way. Um, Anything like that is helpful. So I didn't mean to shortchange that one, but I felt like inspiration, it's a little different for each of us, but, but I feel like you know what that is for you. So anyway, I hope this was very helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye.